Uh, time for the Glenfarticle Handicap Chase next. Normally Stu that does these. And a bit of a different one for me to do. Missing Stu this week. But it's a 3 mile 7 furlong 0-160 handicap over the cross-country course. And Settler and Target are the top two for Craig Beckwith. Agent Decoy, Patrick Hogan, Battle Thralls for Leon Van Rensburg, Tuxford, Darren Thompson, L Woods, Patrick Hogan, Rose Tree, David Hooley, Watchtower, Graham Clutterbuck, Ideal Art, David Hooley, Lark River, John Morgan, Billished, Chatter for Vinnie Gerard, Captain Mannering, Martin Lidham, Windmill Rise, Stu Gray, Law Society, Graham Clutterbuck, Amanda, Matt Cooper, Tiama Vonas for Derek Hinton and Matt Cooper, Sarah Manamu and Glenfine, Fredlock for Alex Cherry make up the field, they're away and racing on this unique track. They get to the first of goodness knows how many obstacles. There's loads of them, I think. They're all safely over the first. They've got 32 more to take, so 33 and all that. Three more than the Grand National. And Lark River, well, John Morgan is in the lead. And if that's a John Morgan horse in front, then you know we're going to get some thrills and spills because that won't be hanging about. And if they go too quick over this course, goodness knows what might happen. So anyway, Lark River for John Morgan in the lead. Tiama Vonas is second. They've all successfully negotiated the first two obstacles. And I hope the jockey on this one knows the way, because I don't know the way around this course. So we'll see where we go. They go upside down, round the back, inside out, and all sorts. Anyway, and there's a fall there at the back. It's Glen 5 Fredlock. So Alex Cherry's bottom weight is out. Glen 5 Fredlock went around for a few seasons. Maybe he doesn't like the idea of running in this one. And it's departed early. And another one's gone there as well. Amanda for Matt Cooper so the pace is catching a few of these out early on as they get over the sixth already and they're all safely over that billished chatter the latest one to make a mistake they are certainly not hanging about Lark River is the leader Captain Mannering is back in second as they take this regulation fence and Captain Mannering nearly went there as well and he should be able to jump around because he won over this course last season not at the festival but at the other race earlier in the season so we're looking for a big run from that one. But it's Lark River who leads them into this huge hurdle. Over it they go. And Lark River's leading by a good seven or eight lengths to Watchtower is moving into second. And L Woods is third as they take the next. With Captain Mannering on the inside of Ideal Art and Law Society. With Tiama Vonas after that one. And Rose Tree and Battle Thralls. Just into the final three miles now. They've already jumped ten. Well, nine. This is the tenth. Uh, the leader. Oh, and Captain Mannering's gone. So all that talk about being a course and distance winner. I don't him any good at all because he's fallen and he's out of it. So that's another one gone. And Lark River continues to lead. To Elwood's in second. Watchtower third. Law Society fourth, then Rose Tree and Ideal Art Battle Thralls is after that. Tiama Vonas is next, and there's a little bit of a gap to Agent Decoy as they come over this funny bank thing. And they're all safely over that one. I'm sure Stu knows this course much better than me. Got the name to all these fences and things. There's something called the Cheese Wedges. I don't know whether that was that funny bank thing. That might be the Cheese Wedges. I don't know. We'll see what comes up later on. This is the first of more than one water jump that they take. And Lark River is the leader from Elwoods in second. Watchtower third, Battle Thrills is fourth. Then Law Society and Ideal Art, Tiama Vonas after that one as they take these next ones. These might be the cheese wedges. I don't know why they would be called cheese wedges. I know there's something called the cheese wedges, but I'm not quite sure where they are. Maybe I should have looked it up, but it's all been a bit busy this last few weeks. Anyway, Lark River's in the lead. From Elwoods in second, Watchtower's third, Battle Thralls is fourth, then Law Society and Tioma Vonas with Ideal Art and Rose Tree, the two David Hooley horses. That's another one down there, Watchtower's gone. So it's all over for the Watchtower. That one is out of the race. And Lark River is giving them something to think about with this pace. And he's going to lead down into the next, leading by a good five or six lengths to Elwoods in second. 
they take this funny bank thing again. They, like I said, might be the cheese wedges. Yeah, Woods is second. Battle, I'm not going to mention them again. Third is Battle Thralls. Law Society is fourth. Then Tioma Vonas and Rose Tree. Agent Decoy is next. I'm sure at some point they have to jump over some railings and go through a ploughed field. Or am I getting it mixed up with a part of Beaker? Anyway, Lark River leads over the next. And they're all safely over that one. With Lark River just outspeeding the cameraman at this point. I'll keep him in shot. Over that ditch. I feel well strung out now, as you'd expect, with the pace they've been going. Windmill rises a mile behind the leader and had a shot. As they take the 22nd of the 33. And there's the back marker. Windmill rise, not as far behind as I thought, actually. Uh, poor old cameraman's own. Difficulty figuring out where, who's, who's in the lead and who's last at the moment. And the loose horses running round for fun at the back as well. But it's Lark River who leads by a good four or five lengths to L. Woods has got a similar gap over Battle Thralls in third. Tioma Vonas is in fourth. Then Law Society in Rose Tree as they take this downhill water jump again. And we'll safely over that with Windmill Rise continuing to be the back marker about. 30 lengths or so off the leader, maybe more. And it's Lark River over the next. And they all got over that one okay. Seem to settle down with a jump in there. Just lost those four reasonably early on. But Lark River will lead them racing uphill on the next. And that time David Hooley's ideal art was down on its nose. Lark River leads them away from the stands. This might be their last little circuit round. They get over the next. All safely over that. Lark River in front. Elwood second. Battle for all's third. They're getting a little bit closer. More closely grouped now. All safely over that one. With Lark River in front still. Although Elwood's is now only three lengths behind. Then Agent Decoy, the second Padraig Hogan was going to take second off his stable mate. The one who's really been driven up into a challenging position now is Battle Thralls. They're suddenly making their move now. There's quite, not going to be any ploughed field and gates in this at all. I must have made that up. They get over the next and Lark River's now being challenged for the lead for the first time by Agent Decoy. And Agent Decoy has gone on. But Lark River fights back on the inside. Coming around the outside, Sarah Manor moves. Crept in from nowhere. Was someone hiding behind a gate or something? I haven't mentioned it before. And suddenly it's through to challenge for the lead. But it's Agent Decoy who's in front now. Agent Decoy's got the lead over the third last. And Sarah Manamu nearly went then. It's Agent Decoy in the lead. Lark River is second. Battle Thralls is third. Then Rose Tree is four. Get back to Sarah Manamu and El Woods. Then Tiama Vonas and Ideal Lark. They've only got two to take in the cross country Glen Far class handicap. Jason, it's Agent Decoy who's in the lead from Battle Thralls in second. Rose Tree is running on in third. Then Ideal Art in fourth. David Hooley already had two winners today. But it's Agent Decoy in the lead for Padraig Hogan. Battle Thralls is second. Rose Tree is third. It's surely between these over the second last. They all jump in well. It's Agent Decoy in front from Battle Thralls in second. Rose Tree is probably going better in the three. We've got more ground to make up over the last. It's Agent Decoy who's hanging on to the lead. Agent Decoy leading by two lengths inside the final furlong. And his agent decoy gonna give Padraig Hogan his first festival winner of the season, racing up towards the line. His agent decoy that takes again Farkless from in second place. Battle Rose Rose Tree is just gonna hang on to third, I think, from stable mate Indian Art, and then target Elwoods after that. Tuxford didn't really get into it. Neither did Billish Chatter, and a top weight settler was always out the back. But it's agent decoy from Padraig Hogan. And takes it pretty comfortably in the end from Battle Thralls for, David, for Leon van Rensburg in second, Rose Tree, David Hooley third, Ideal Art, David Hooley again fourth, and Target, who was running on at the end, was fifth for Craig Beckwith. <laughs>